The seven bowls of God's wrath are described in the book of Revelation, specifically in Revelation 16. They represent the final series of plagues or judgments poured out upon the earth as part of the apocalyptic events leading up to the second coming of Jesus Christ and the establishment of God's kingdom. Here's a brief overview of each bowl. First bowl, Revelation 16, 2. Upon pouring out the first bowl, painful and malignant sores afflict those who have the mark of the beast and worship its image. This punishment is directed towards those who have aligned themselves with the forces of evil. Second bowl, Revelation 16, 3. The second bowl turns the sea into blood, causing every living creature in the sea to die. This symbolizes a catastrophic destruction of marine life. Third bowl, Revelation 16, 4 to 7. The third bowl turns the rivers and springs of water into blood. An angel affirms the justice of this judgment, stating that those who have shed the blood of saints and prophets now receive blood to drink as their just punishment. Fourth bowl, Revelation 16, 8 to 9. The fourth bowl causes the sun to scorch people with fire. This intense heat brings great suffering and distress upon humanity. Fifth bowl, Revelation 16, 10, 11. Upon pouring out the fifth bowl, darkness covers the kingdom of the beast, plunging it into great agony. This darkness symbolizes spiritual blindness and the absence of God's light. Sixth bowl, Revelation 16, 12, 16. The sixth bowl dries up the Euphrates River, preparing the way for the kings of the east to gather for battle at Armageddon. This sets the stage for the final confrontation between the forces of good and evil. Seventh bowl, Revelation 16, 17 to 21. The seventh bowl results in the greatest earthquake the world has ever seen, accompanied by hailstones weighing about 100 pounds each. This catastrophic event brings about the complete collapse of Babylon, symbolizing the final judgment and destruction of all evil powers. I bet you they didn't teach you that in Sunday school. So here we are, enthralled with the NBA playoffs, the NFL draft, and lest we forget sprinkle, sprinkle, and drizzle, drizzle. Meanwhile, Israel is fighting two opponents, while Russia and China looks on intently. We are probably one bullet away from World War III and the beginning of sorrows. We can't be 100% sure of where we are in prophecy. But one thing we can be sure of is that the book is coming true. You will probably stick your head in the sand like most people. Anyway, here is some Bible verses to stick to your ribs. John 4 verse 24, God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. Also, Isaiah 55 verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it.